Hi, Dr. Karen Can with another video in the Light Warrior Wisdom series. In this series, I'll be highlighting common myths and misconceptions that Light Warrior sensitive souls have or make and that are really preventing them from really enjoying their lives. So today, the topic is this. You are not broken and you do not need anyone to fix you. <laughs> yeah, many of us have gone through a lot of different kinds of traumas, experiences, events, that might make us feel broken. We might literally have a piece of our anatomy removed, right? You think, well, gee, how could I not be broken? Um, so, but what I'm talking about is the spirit. We can have parts of our physical body missing or torn or scarred or whatever, and you can say, yeah, I'm broken physically, maybe not the ideal of normal or you know optimal, but very few of us, even those models that you see on TV that look perfect, are really perfect even physically. Um, life has its ebbs and flows, has its cycles. Um, what's perfect in nature sometimes looks like a mutation. It's kind of weird. So as far as feeling broken, um, that is really a problem because if we think we're broken, then we have the next thought is that I have to be fixed. And then who is gonna fix me or which doctor, or which healer or which therapist or, you know? So there's so many people running around with that feeling, even if they don't you know, overtly believe it, that I am broken, that here we are, a whole bunch of people thinking we're not whole and we're broken, wanting other people to fix us, usually, that's how it works. So then there's all these you know, people running around not really being who they are meant to be, their whole self in spirit, if not physical. Um, and that makes for you know, um, a lack you know, in our society um, because you're not showing up with all your uniqueness who you really are and I know it's a hard sell I know it's a hard sell because it was a hard sell for me uh, you know to, to, to read and to have teachers tell me and to believe like that's all that's really needed I just have to be fully myself you got to be kidding you know like there must be something more um, I must be you know I must have to be better you know <laughs> one of my good friends Baxter Bell you said this one time to me this is many many years ago or 20 years ago uh, when I was about, you know, said something about life is about being a better person. And he turns and looks at me and he's a yogi, so he's like gentle. And he's like, so what's wrong with you right now? <laughs> and this is before I had fibromyalgia. So I was like, oh, um, you mean the whole point of life isn't to be better? <laughs> you know, and he's like, well, really? Is that what you think? And I was like, yeah, he's got a point. You know, if I'm always trying to be better, trying to be better, that means... I'm not actually happy about who I am right now. Now, it doesn't mean that I don't still strive, but the, the, the intention is different. I strive because I love to create. See, notice the difference. Sometimes we strive to feel better about ourselves, you know, to better the world. You know, we have this thought that it's broken, we have to fix it, right? Whereas if you can think, well, everything is the way it should be right now. Maybe it's not comfortable, maybe it's not the way I would like it. And you know, wow, I'm going to create something. So I'm going to use, you know, all my energies, who I really am, truly myself, and I'm gonna create. And in that creation, you bring all of you, your wholeness, you know, not your brokenness, but your wholeness. And really that's all that's expected of us. I know it's a tough, like I said, tough sell. Most of us think that we have to accomplish something or you know, have something written in the history books that we were so great, you know? No, not really. <laughs> we just have to be ourselves. And when we're ourselves and we can co-create and create and, and have fun. Um, so, Light Warriors, if you need some help with that, I'd love to help you with that. Uh, check it out, my website, KarenCan.com. Uh, and uh, I have uh, some new calls available called Discovery Call, where you, can, you and I can sit down for 25 minutes and discuss, you know, where your life is at right now, where you'd like it to be, and whether or not I can help you with that. All right, take care, Light Warriors. Until next time, bye for now.